y'all, it's All Miracle Gaming, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today, I'm going to be reading an article EA posted about the Russian invasion of Ukraine and how EA is punishing Russia and Belarus. The article is an official article that EA posted on their official site. It will be linked down below if you guys would also like to read it. This article and what EA is doing just doesn't pertain to The Sims 4. It pertains to every single EA game, such as... Um, Madden, and trying to think of um, GTA, I think. At the end, we are going to look at how the EA community feels and how the gaming community feels about EA's choices to do this. Just a little disclaimer, we are going to be talking about the Russia versus Ukraine. If this is a subject that is possibly triggering, I advise you click off now. I stand with Ukraine and I am going to be leaving it at that. So without any further ado, let's go on ahead and get into the video. So, we're going to have go ahead and read the article first, and then I'm going to talk about my thoughts on what EA is doing, and then we're going to look at how the community feels. So, what it says is, we, are, we continue to be shocked at the conflict that is unfolding in Ukraine and joining so many voices around the world in calling for peace and an intent and an end to the invasion. We stand in solidarity with the people of Ukraine. Our primary concern is the ongoing safety of those in the region, particularly colleagues and partners. We are seeking to understand how we might best help them further beyond our programs that are already in place. We have made a decision to stop the sales of games and content, including virtual currency bundles in Russia and Belarus while the conflict continues. As a result, our games and content will no longer be available in Russia for, for purchase in our Russian region storefront on, on Origin or the EA app, including through in-game stores. We are also working with our platform partners to remove our titles from their stores and stop the sale of new in-game content in the region. As this deeply troubling situation evolves, we're continually reviewing the steps we can take. In addition to changes our eSports, FIFA, and NHL games, we are actively evaluating other areas of our games and operations, and we'll update you with any further actions. So I'll just talk about the first article for a second. I support EA and that they support Ukraine, but I'm a little, I have mixed feelings about the other one. So I wish that they wouldn't have put the colleagues and partners because over in Ukraine, I think currently in Ukraine, everybody is the same in how we care that they survive what is currently going on there. And so I just wish that they took out that part and just said that our primary concern is the ongoing safety of those in the region and just got rid of the colleagues and partners. I just think that kind of like ruins it in this way. Now, my thoughts on the next part. This is where I have, like, mixed feelings. Um, I don't think that you should be punishing the people of Ukraine. It's not the, the people of Russia. It's not their fault, and I don't understand why we're punishing them. I do also understand how if we get the people of Russia angry, how this will affect Putin and how, like, it will, like, affect the government. But I also see how this could also affect small business owners and people who just want to sell the game to people. And so I think for that reason, this is going to create a lot of pirating because people want these games, but they can't get them because they can't purchase them. I just think this is another one of the sanctions that we are putting on Russia. And I think, I think that both... I think that this is good and that this is bad. The people of Russia did nothing wrong. It is not their fault that this is happening. But at the same time, we need to show Putin that he needs to stop what he's doing. And how we do that is hurting the people of Russia. It's just, I have like mixed thoughts on this. Um, but yeah, so that's like overall my thoughts on the brand new article. I do not know that this article came out maybe a week ago. I'm really sorry for not doing this sooner. It's just, I've been busy and I'm just not seeing this article. So whenever I saw it, I decided to make a video on it like as soon as I saw it. 
And so, yeah, so this is what EA posted about on their website about how they are going to be stopping the sales in Russia. So now let's go on over and look at how the community is reacting. Okay, so I pulled about four comments that I saw on Instagram from people reacting to um, the post that they made on their Instagram. I will also link that down below if you guys would also like to read it. But let's go on. But let's go on ahead and read these four comments. A lot of the four comments deal with blaming the people of Russia, and then one of them deals with like hypocrisy. So number one, kind of feel bad for the people of Russia who don't support the invasion, which is true. It's not their fault. Two, just jumping on the trend as usual. Never seen EA comment anything when Syria got bombed, which is true. Um, like saying, whenever Afghanistan bombed, I guess not bombed really, but hijacked and killed a lot of people during 9-11, they didn't stop telling them in Afghanistan because of that reason. And same thing with whoever bombed Syria, I don't remember. Three, this is a terrible decision to make. The citizens of Russia have no part in this war and don't want it. Stop punishing them and keep it yourself if that's all you're going to do. Help the Ukrainian people rather than punish the innocent who just want to play games. I I think that if they really want to support Ukraine, maybe release, um, maybe give Ukraine, like a Ukrainian fundraiser who will want to help protect Ukraine, maybe donate some of your revenue um, to like help Ukraine fight off Russia. I think that could be a great way to both support Ukraine and also leaving the people of Russia alone because it's not their fault that this is happening and it's not like we don't need to blame them. Speaking of blaming the, pe the people of Russia, number four says you need to stop blaming the people of Russia, which is true. Once again, it's not their fault and we are punishing them for no reason at all. They don't deserve this. It's not their fault. But y'all, that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys liked the video, make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment, and share. And turn on my notifications. That way you guys can be notified every single time I post a brand new video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As I said earlier, both of the things, the article and EA's official post, will be linked down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, y'all.